So he went round to see him wearing his hat. His hat? Yes. He looked like Inspector Clouseau. What did he tell him? <laughs> you know what men are like. They think having nits is a slur on their manhood. So he just kept it under his hat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, Frank. Yeah, yeah, go on, go through. Thank you, Frank. Right. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm not interrupting anything. No, 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 no not at all. I just talked about Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, girls, I've, uh, I've got a proposition to put here. Oh, you best sit down, then. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Nah. What? Hmm? Nothing. You said you had a proposition. Yeah, 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 the calf, yeah. Well, we're still thinking about it. Yeah. You know I dropped out. Which is why you offered to take our last bit after all. So much for family. Yes, well, anyway, the way I book it is you still wouldn't be thinking about it if you thought you could afford it easily. So? Well, neither can I. Uh, that is, and since Pat started to invade Europe. <laughs> so what's this proposition, then? We buy it between us. Between us? Mm -hmm. You two girls put up half the money, I'll put up the other half. You run it and everything that goes with it. And I'll just be a sleeping partner. And now that we know that he hasn't got any other interested parties, we bid him less than your last offer. But we'd still run it, though. That's what I thought. And we split the profits? Down the middle. Yeah, but that means we'd be doing all the work and you get the same as us for doing nothing. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, Cathy. You said Unless, you'd... of course, we split the profits, say 70-30 in our favour. 60-40. Anything less than that, it wouldn't be worth me putting my half of the money in. Well, what do you think? Well, there's to Jeez. us, eh? Yeah. Do you know, six months ago, if anyone had told me that the butchers and the fellas were going into business together, I'd never have believed yeah. them. Well, that's all in the past now, darling. All we've got to worry about is the future and all that lovely money we're going to raise. Oh, I'll drink yeah. to that. <laughs> Who's going to tell Ian? I think it'll be better coming from you two. Well, he won't like it. He doesn't have to, sweetheart. Yeah, and what do they say? No time like the present, eh? No. Yeah, well, there's uh, just something Paul has got to do first, isn't there, Paul? Is there? Oh, yes, right. Is Pat in? Pat? I think so, little boy. Oh, I just wanted to have a word with her. What is it with you two, these little messages back and forth all the time? It's nothing. <laughs> Won't be long. So, Frank, me old son. Yeah. You coming in the bit? Well, what's happening? Nothing. Just me and a few of the lads, I think, they're going in, in case our geezer's come back. Then what? We spoke to any war. He done nothing, did he? Look what's happening in the shadow. Come on, we've got to do something about it. Go on. Yeah, what are them up to? God knows. You seen Pat? Eh? Yeah. Frank! Yeah? Pat says, can you pop home if you've got a minute? Right, well, oh, now what? Ian, after you. Look, I'm sorry, mate. I'm not interested. Look, I've had you quite. If you haven't had enough materials and that's your problem, it's nothing to do with me, all right? All I'm interested in is you finishing by the completion date at the agreed price. All right? Thank you very much. Bye. Hey, I'll have to take you, please. Thanks very much. Oh, ladies. Oh, does he mean nuts? <laughs> Can I get you something? Tea, coffee? Oh, no, thanks. We've come to talk business. Oh, my favourite kind of language. Would you, uh, care to take a seat? I, uh... I take it you've decided to go ahead. Oh, how could we refuse? Oh, what with you giving us special family rates and all? Oh, the least I can do. I tell you, you won't regret this, you know. No, mm -hmm. I know we won't. So, when do you want to take over then? Hang on, hang on. We haven't discussed a price yet. Oh, but we agreed. I'll take your last bid. Oh, but you see, Ian, you kept us waiting for so long, we had time to think it over properly. Yeah, but hang on, aren't you, Paul? Oh, well, of course. I mean, if you'd rather sell it to your other buyer... We quite understand, you know, being family. Well, you could always wait for this day, eh, just to find your buyer. Yeah, it'd be a bit expensive. Well, they'd want their car. <gasps> could take months. Still, you know best. All right. You've made your point. Sit down. What did you have in mind? <laughs> We're closed. Oh, we can swap, can't we? You know, it's all turn at morning beach. Yeah, but what about taking the children to school? Oh, I don't know. Look, we're sort summing out. The most important thing is... Yeah. Ian? Here you are. What? Keys. Keys? So the cafe you've just bought. And if the paper's drawn up tomorrow, I'll expect the cheque by next week. But Ian, we're not ready yet. No, we've got things to sort out first. It's nothing to do with me. It's all locked up. You do what you want with it. I've got more important things to do. Ian? Oh, yes, but if I were you... I get around there a bit sharpish. I mean, it's uh, 12 o'clock. If you don't get the dinners on soon, it'll be a right on your hands. Double sausage, beans and chips, please. One pie mash and a bacon roll. Right, this way. Right, then. Who wants tea? 
used to be in the Paris. Come on, just go, please. Sounds like you ain't welcome, soldier boy. Urgent pickup in Whitechapel. Oh, you deaf! Where's Eddie? He's upstairs. Grant. Are you just gonna let him go up, Lou? It'll be all right. What's going on? You lot, out. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you better pick a size, soldier boy. <laughs> Come on! Now that's enough. Now if you've got any sense, you'll put that down and get out. <laughs> no chance. I've just phoned the police. I hope you haven't got a history, sonny boy. Because if you have, you'll go down just for holding that. Don't listen to him. Never phoned anyone. Put it down now. Please. Well, 